bag of things, they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time Bag of things, they have to make a statement If I no bag of things, TV, it no make sense A bag of things, TV, I run things all the time Yes I, Elmati, they have to represent for bag of things, TV, media You don't know, tune in, you hear a bag of things Bag of things, TV, media You was a subscriber, Baga Things Media TV, you see me I say, we there again, you see me I say, and I do apologize if you hear any noise in the background, you see me I say, yeah mom, they at a guest house right now, but me have to come out, to really do a video for my fans, them and my viewers and my sub car, when they done their work, I have to carry out, you know, the large work, I have to go on. Right now, no, rubber shot dead by female firearm holder in downtown Kingston. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been talking about firearm holders, you know, in a Jamaica, you know. And I tell the ladies that when we talk about firearm holder, I not talk about the man them alone. Me I say the woman them fi have them big old lot of gun pan them seeing where because no for them criminal boy I go get knock. Here why them all get knocked now, cause them underestimate the woman them. I don't believe say woman them have a gun pan them. And right now the case where me about to read or something like that go on, you know. Look how dirty boy get wet up me and tell say the girl blaze up a shot pan him, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, the FLA, I want you guys to issue more firearm to the female, the female people them in Jamaica, you know. You know see me I say? Yeah man. I mean I'll tell you know why me say that. Right now you know hear everything right now. So here what happened now, my viewers and my subscribers come here telling you everything. A man was reportedly shot dead by a female after he attempted to steal her mobile phone and other valuables in the downtown Kingston on Saturday. Reports are that about 9.45 a.m. The woman was in the market district of the busy commercial hub when the would-be robber and his cronies arrived in the area and demanded that the female hand over her phone and other valuables and the wrong thing in go blow out the man you know i want him do him thinks that the woman never did strap him never did know so the woman have a big old dirty tall up tall up on her you know here and now he has a nice sweeter joke you know hear what the man say information reaching loop news is that the leader of the group grabbed the phone from the female and pushed her to the ground and was attempting to escape from the area when he was shot by the female who is said to be a licensed firearm holder a that for go up hey let me tell you something every woman in a jamaica must get their firearm every single one must be strapped from no one i tell you no on a serious level no on the hear what happened now you what go on you know car it's story no don't they say no on have to hear what go on you know Reports are that the other men in the group fled after hearing the explosion. They run like teeth. The injured man was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Jesus God, me I tell you. I who go fool him now if you go ram this woman. I who go fool him up if you go ram this woman. I wrong woman in go ram you know. Me I tell you, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, criminality no work out. Because here I go now. It's a if and but or maybe thing, you know. Sometimes they survive, sometimes they come out victoriously by stealing people things and the next time they get wet up, you know. Some you know who choose that the job that one of the most dangerous is job that to become a criminal. Because you know work out, you know have no four oh one K, you know have pension, you know have all of them something where you get when you're done and retire. And you're not gonna live upon the hills. You're not gonna be able to you enjoy your life. You end up in a grave or you end up behind bars. Why you choose that the job the youth? All I boy them now, I hear the criminal boy them. Why would you choose this a job? Yeah? This a job and have no security. I don't know. I'm telling you what really I go on still, because more thing to his story, you know. Hear what happened now. The incident took place just days after another female was shot dead by criminals in another section of the downtown Kingston Market District. When you see all the women them go through a whole heap of things. A whole heap of pray the boy them pray for the woman them, you know. You see me, I say, this is why the woman them take up the defense now and I protect themselves. I mean around them. 
I don't nah lie, I go buy my sister and my auntie and my granny may buy a gun right now I go buy them two license gun to protect themselves because all them boys are moving right now more and my granny can't even pop off upon one of them too, you know Yeah man, I'm blaze up card upon them blow up, you know I tell you, you know. The paper goes on to say the deceased in that incident was identified as Debbie Eaton alias Debbie Ninja of Rima in West Kingston remember I did a story on that you know the lady lost her foot so she's an amputee you see me I say she was said to be in her 40s and was an amputee that simple mean that she lose one of her foot you know yeah man they cut off one of her foot you know what I mean they amputate her foot so she dip on one foot and then wait but she get shot in her foot lost her foot and then eventually lost her life what a whole heap of something happened to that girl. I mean, I hear from the show, says she a bad girl to she involved in a whole heap of badness, so I don't know. But catch your levels now, who don't subscribe yet? Hurry up and subscribe to a big bad channel on your bugger things. Support the platform, like, share, and subscribe. You see that? Here we are going now. For this new era, whole heap of things are going right now. In a Westmoreland, man charging connection with gun attack. I'm telling you everything right now. So you go and relax on yourself, you know. The police are saying right now, reading from the Gleaner, cops assigned to the Westmoreland Police Division have arrested and charged a man with two counts of wounding with intent and illegal possession of firearm. Remember, you know, you hear you know, start good, you know. And the police, they lock up so much, and the boy, they might take off so much gun off of them. I not lie. It's a great move by the police, them, you know. Now, the paper goes on to say, charge is 33 year old machine. Weatherburn, otherwise called Quenga. Quenga, you know. Otherwise called Quenga, you know. For a year, they named the Quenga to blood clear. You know, so boy, this is a person you're up to know good, you know. And on a stereotype, are sitting there, you know, profile in the body, but Quenga, John no Star. Quenga of Lime Tree Lane, Negril, in the parish. The police report that about 9.40 p.m. on Wednesday, December the 30, the complainant were at a relative's house when they were pounced upon by the accused. They reported the fire several shots at them. When a sister Quenga now play, when a sister Quenga now play around, in name alone telling us that this is a brother, you know, you know, no joke thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you the name them have power in them, you know. You see me, I say, yeah, man, don't play with the name them. Now, catch your levels now. Both complainants were rushed to hospital where they were admitted in serious but stable condition. On Thursday, December the 31st, Weatherburn was operating during an operation in Bedground District in the parish and subsequently charged. John was time I'm glad that the police they're running upon him real quick you know so the paper goes on to say Quenga's court date has been finalized so a judge you know straight I judge them are taking him you know the police them now skin teeth and ramp with Quenga because to a Quenga move right you now a man like him where I squeeze uh, so much rounds and shot at people nobody supposed to skin teeth with them man they you know Quenga they on a serious level right you now viewers and subscribers so they might take him to a court right away and make a judge talk to him or deal with him real good and a talk a judge or talk to him alone a judge i go say hey quenga i heard that you've been shooting up people and carrying out all type of works in the gangster badman business you know what a police them reports a boy them see you and them pick you up you know and they take you to me so right now i have no choice but just to throw the book at you yeah and I saw Quinga end up in a jail for the longest time in my life. I'm mean, not lie. Serious thing, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Baga Things Media TV. And just for a reminder for the folks that want to subscribe, I remind you again, you know, because sometimes I know so, you know, tend to forget. But I want you guys to remember go subscribe to the channel, like and share, touch up notification bell, further notification posts. You see me? Don't know, say Baga Things Media TV. You see you way. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk about an incident that took place in a Jamaica right now. All the things are going on. We are talking about it. What really happened is that some parties are going on in Jamaica. We're talking about the illegal parties, them saying all the people are get arrested, being a man get charged, and bugger things. Seeing we see all the other people, all the proprietors, business people place a lot down because they must keep the illegal party. But the Jamaican people, they must say, boy, the uptown people, them, I go a yacht, they must do all type of parties sitting. And the police, them now nah, lock it off. At that, they must say. 
So there's a disgruntlement going on in the sector right now as it relates to the police them. Nah, the lock big off shows the big is money, money, big top man them party. Because a party happened at the Lime Key recently and they must say, boy, the police they not lock it off. Because of some big man did I run it. You see me I say, so all the people upset about it right now. Now, we don't know about this great senior superintendent police lady, you know. I show her picture. That's her on the screen right now. Her name is Lindsay. And she's saying that police now show no prejudice against poor people. You see me? The police are treat the poor people them equally as how them are treat the big top and the Irish them and the top man them. You see me? So that I go really right now in the news more on know what really I go on Kabaga things have to keep you guys notified. You see me I say I may go now like a snip. So this is what they must say in the paper now. Critics argue that the treatment of the perceived uptoners was in stark contrast to inner city residents and others from low income communities who apart from being arrested, charged and fined, often have their names published in the media and their equipment and liquor seized by the police. So the poor people them advise their opinion, you know. But Lindsay now I say, here with the top police lady I say no. We want Jamaica to produce the evidence that the treatment is different. And that she has said, she has said, everybody are treated equally right you now. The top narrows them, the top of people, them big choices people, upper echelon, them are get the same treatment as the ghetto people them. So, I they say the right you now, viewers and subscribers, I'm telling you what I go on. You know, see what I say? Yeah, man, keep liking and sharing and support the platform. You don't know Bagger Things Media TV. Up, 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 up. Bagger Things Media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names, urban legend. Jackal out.